for any time, any, any time you're ever asked for the y-intercept, x must be 0. So we're going to put 0 in for each x in the original problem. And when we do, we get a negative 1 because 0 minus 1. But then we have to square that. We get a negative 1 cubed. And we get a 0 plus 3 is 3, and we have to square it. The 3 squared is 9. Negative 1 cubed is still negative 1 because it's negative 1 times itself 3 times. And negative 1 squared is 1. So 1 times negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. That's our final answer.